Therese, stand up. There we go. I just couldn't see you. Here, let me get Cable to lean up. All right. situational comedians in the history of television. Most people would call them classics. Today's television airways are full of reality TVs and this is what I find myself spending most of my time watching. I am a football player so I like for things to be physical not love a dove and rose petals sweet you know. Other. Don't give me Dance with the Stars or The Bachelor or American Idol or something like that. I ain't gonna watch it. I want some blood, some sweat, some folks pushing themselves to the limb, you know, just going out all the way to the end, you know. With that being said, my favorite hours of reality television is Steve Austin Broken Skull Challenge. If you haven't heard of that or whatever not, it's just, it's like a group, a group of people, they get invited to this ranch in Texas or whatever, and they have to go through obstacles. But it airs on CMT each and every Sunday night at 8, 8 Eastern time and 7 Central time. People are going through extreme, extreme challenges and showing their mental toughness and physical makeup. Steve Austin was a famous wrestler in the World, world Wrestling Entertainment Organization and had many nicknames such as Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Ringmaster, and my personal favorite, The Texas Rattlesnake. He was a 19-time world champion in the WWE, and no one ever made as much money as he did his time in the ring. Austin officially announced his retirement for wrestling in 2003. Stone Cold is still on a contract with the, with the WWE has not had a match in almost 10 years. So he's pretty much getting free money. Steve Austin would enter the arena to break him, break him glass, and you knew he was there to kick some butt. He was a thorn in the side of WWE owner Vince McMahon, Mc, Mc, McMahon. Stone Cold was a beer drinking Texas redneck that was a dominant force and a fan favorite. The Broken Skull Challenge is much like the old school of American Gladiators, but it is much more physical than people might think. The show is in its third season and has won multiple awards along the way. Steve Austin puts eight contestants through a series of head-to-head -head competition until one man or woman is standing. This show is set up as a single bracket with three rounds. My personal favorite competition are trench warfare, where competitors are placed at opposite ends of a 45 foot trench that is filled up with mud and water and they have to try to fight through each other to get to the other side where well, it's a bell to ring it to win or whatever. Also, we have the Pervert, Pervert, Pervisor. In this um, challenge, people have to pull weight bags through a, 
through a sand pit. They don't they don't give the women a fair shot in this one. Having men pull heavier bags than the ladies. And lastly, my personal favorite and one I want to try myself is the skull buster. Days after winning the first two challenges, the remaining two contests contestants battled in a half mile obstacle course, which featured ten obstacles and the chance you might have to start over if you break a rule. The winner can walk away with a whopping $10,000 if they complete the Skull Buster in the time that was already set by the remaining um, champion or whatever. You ladies and gentlemen heard me right. I said $10,000. A, one with four zeros. <laughs> Steve Austin's Skull Bust Challenge isn't for the weak hearted. The Texas Rattlesnake is going to give someone a rose when he or she advances. If you want to win those 10 big ones, you, have, you are going to have to earn it. You are going to get physical, dirty, mad, and many other things. It is truly one of the most adrenaline packages of our TV on the air today. If you get a chance, be sure to check it out this Sunday at 7 on CMT. You will not be disappointed, and I bet, I bet you $10,000 you might just get hooked.